We're going to be here in a sec, the tenth hole. <laughs> Morning Beverly, this is way too late for you to still be in bed on a Monday. I stayed at my dad's house again last night on Hailing Island and we haven't gone back to Newport, even though we're meant to go to university today for student elections. I think it'll be okay though, because Beverly emailed Ronnie, our course leader, and we both put Lloyd forward as a student representative of our class. He said that was okay in a reply, didn't he? He did indeed. Now get out of bed. It's not like us to miss university, but it's pretty late notice and we're like two, three hundred miles away from it. And look at it out there, just like yesterday, it's gorgeous here, isn't it? Leaves are turning yellow here. And oh, by the way, I sold another gig on Fiverr yesterday. That's two gigs I've sold. I've got about five up, though. <sighs> What's for breakfast? I was thinking about having some toast, then I clicked. As I'm in Portsmouth, I could take Beverly down to one of my old haunts. Go back upstairs and see what she thinks, even though she's going to say yes anyway. Are you up yet? Oh, yes, you are. That was a quick transformation. Do you want to go to Portsmouth for some of the week, somewhere I used to go called the 10th Hole? Yeah. See, told you she'd say yes. I've chucked my jumper on too. This place has got the best cakes in the world. Hello, Dad. I'm taking Beverly to Portsmouth for some of the week. Do you want me to get anything while I'm out? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Do you want to drive for a change, babe? Yeah. Tough. Wow, look at the size of this tree above my Dad's car. I've never really noticed it before. It's massive, isn't it? <whistles> nice hat. Look at my Dad working over there with the tyres. There he goes, working hard. <laughs> and brum, we're off. We're going to have to go home tonight, maybe this afternoon or something, because tomorrow it's a Tuesday. You know what Tuesdays are? A day of art, theory, then poker in the evening. And unlike the rest of the course, I actually like Tuesdays. I really enjoy art theory. I think it's nice. I like the teachers that we've got. Look how bloody gorgeous it is out on the sea over the bridge. I really hope this little cafe is open. It is Monday and it is starting to get wintry now, isn't it? But if it's not, I'm sure I can find somewhere else in Portsmouth so anyway, can't I? There it is, the Pompey skyline. Not much, is it? This is South Sea Common, babe. Have I ever taken you here before? No. I've got a lot of friends that live down this way that are going to be mega pissed that I haven't popped in to say hello, so hiya! There's the big old memorial. This is like a Portsmouth tour for you guys, isn't it? And when I was a fit young man, I used to run this seafront every day, about 45 minutes worth. And oh, I wasn't a fatty like I am now. I was fit. You can fit again now, please. What are you trying to say? Can you see how flat it is out there? That's quite amazing for winter anyway. Please be open, 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 please be open. Tenfold tea rooms, seven days a week, jolly good. Oh, I love the cakes that they've got in here. Looks like Bev does too. <laughs> Whoa, my God, I think I might forget about a meal and just get a cake. <laughs> wow, look at that for a hot chocolate. It's not often you get scrambled egg and toast that looks this good. Crack on, dearie. Seriously, Beverly, you didn't eat your crusts. You can go and buy the cake for that. Can you get me a chocolate lumpy bumpy cake, please? That's that big chocolatey thing with Maltesers and stuff on top. Oh. <laughs> get yourself something delicious as well. Cool, check out that arse. Holy crap, it looks like a chocolate bomb has exploded on our table. That is just something else. Life. It's no surprise at all that this place is absolutely packed full with just women. Just too much once. I nearly finished it all. Beverly hasn't even made a crack in her. She's trying, isn't she? She's trying. Not quite made it though. See this right here. This is a picture of disgrace for women all over the world. This is actually hilarious. She's leaving. She can't finish it. She's going to be in a bad mood all day long. Love this place, I'll come back here sometime soon. Blah, that was so nice. So fat, aren't we? What a really, really nice day. It's not even that chilly out, to be honest. We should go out for a nice little walk, really, shouldn't we? What we'll do is park up here a little further up the beach and just go for a walk along the promenade, okay? We've taken our cameras out with us as well. Geeks! It's incredible how flat the water is. This probably reminds you of Brighton, doesn't it? That's South Parade Pier over there, and there's another pier called Clarence Pier right round the coast. Just like Hailing Island, just like Brighton, just like Eastbourne, just like everywhere along this coast, it's full of shingle as well. Only little patchy bits of sand here and there. I don't know about you, but I love global warning. Take note, it's the 12th of November 2010, and look at the state of it. Come on, princess. We'll go for a walk up along the promenade. I'm going to show you something up here that's quite dear to me. 
and that's this little old tram shelter here. Because the sun's the other side of it, you won't get the right picture here, but I took a photo about five, six years ago, and since I took that photo, I had graffiti on the windows, I haven't changed as a photographer since. I took that one picture, and I stayed taking photos like that since then. This is the other side of it where the sun's shining on it. Gorgeous yellows and whites in the windows. There was some red graffiti on the windows, now the council has cleaned off, obviously. I remember taking that photo in my first SLR. I remember thinking, wow, this is going to be a great picture. And it went on to do really well in competitions and stuff like that. And really, from that moment on, my photos haven't changed since. Straight on 2D pictures turned into a 3D environment into something flat. What a photo is, really. Bev's soaking up the Sammy C aura, aren't you? <laughs> when we get home in a few hours, I'll dig out the print and show you. A bit further along the beach now, you can see the Spinnaker Tower in the distance there. There's Henry VIII Castle. Oh, sunlight. Ah, it's got to get shadow. It's a bit of a nice trip down memory lane for me. Wow, here's the South Sea Bandstand. Beverly, this holds memories for me. I once held an illegal rave here. <laughs> it's a shame we can't spend much longer here, but I'd like to get home before it gets pitch black anyway. It's 2 p.m. at the moment. The sun goes down around five. I don't think that's gonna happen anyway, is it? And back at the car. I never thought I'd say this, but I really enjoyed my trip across South Sea Portsmouth. It was quite a pleasant walk, and why didn't anyone tell me I looked like such a tit in this purple hat? Next time, don't let me walk around with this on. Ugh. Gonna go home now, grab our stuff, jump on the motorway, and then head back home to Newport. Scummy Newport, isn't it? I'm starting to feel a bit sick still from that chocolate cake we had earlier. My body's not ready for heaven yet, obviously, even though it's like heaven, but better. I know I've said this 25 times already, but it's so still going across the bridge to Hailing Island. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm going to pull over here to show you. That's a bloody big puddle, I could go swimming in that. I'm just walking up a path called the Hailing Billy tracks. There used to be a train called the Hailing Billy that went on to Hailing. Just to show you the water and how clear like glass it is. I'm having a fun day out. I know you are, you purple little headed monster. And here we go, look at it there, clear as glass. That island over there is called Portsmouth. We're on Hailing Island. Portsmouth is the island next along from it. Not many people know that Portsmouth is an island actually. Go on, chicky pie, I want to skim some stones. This one looks like a good in. Take three. Hey, three skims. My arm's not feeling very powerful today. It's stunning out here. Better here than it was in Portsmouth. Oi, stop taking photos of me. This sunlight we're getting today is bloody magnificent. I've enjoyed being away this weekend. Have you, Beverly? Of course. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going back to university as well and carrying on with my project. I'm gonna go home for real this time. And home. I'm gonna charge my battery up on my phone first, then get off. I like my dad's house. Have a look at that. The sun's really going down now. There's still no clouds covering it up. Shall we pack up and get going? We've got to really, before the sun goes down, I'd like to anyway. My dad just said it's probably a good idea we don't leave now because I'll be driving into the sun if I'm heading west and I'm going to hit rush hour traffic. Not a good thing. We're going to wait till it's dark. There it goes. Sun's gone behind the trees. I bet it won't be like this for the rest of the year now. Before I go home, I'm helping my dad look through all his slides. He collects and uploads slides to Flickr. He's got boxes and boxes of them. Look. I'm picking out the very best ones for him to scan and I'm going to have to give you a link so you can see his Flickr stream. And he just said to me to tell you that he's always happy to look after anyone else's collections. If you want to send them, he'll scan them and upload them for you. About one in every ten from that box over there is pure gold. Some of these portraits are fantastic. I'll put a link below this video. Just click like the more options and stuff and it will give you a link to his Flickr site with all his weird slides and pictures and stuff. Bev's getting in on the act now. And boom, it's dark. It's gonna be horrible driving home for the next couple of hours, but at least we don't drive into the sun, which would have been impossible. And also, I just got my first positive rating on Fiverr. Woohoo! I said I'd act retard for 30 seconds on video. I don't know why someone bought it, because I can't do that at all. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you bellowed what? Why you cake? What about cake? Do you want some? Where are they? They're in here. What's my dad brought back today? Oh yes, I'll have some of that. Yes, please, thank you. And you shouldn't be having cake after this morning, especially not one that big. <laughs> I'm watching the Mark Zuckerberg announcement. He's the guy that runs Facebook, you know. He's starting email on Facebook. It's amazing. I'm watching it on the live Facebook channel on the Facebook profile tab. And it's just about announced that Facebook are going to be providing an email service with the whole Facebook thing. Um, so it was interesting to see that a, a lot of folks don't kind of see it that way. I was one of the first thousand viewers. There's now 20 and a half thousand people um, watching this around the world. They're rolling out over the next few months. We've got to wait. You ready to drive home now? My dad says it's very frosty out.
I think we've got everything, but I'm bound to have forgotten something, like I always do. Goodbye, Father. Thanks for having us. It's pitch black outside. It's not even seven o'clock yet. We've got two hour drive home and the music's too loud. Look at it out there. It's horrible. For the purposes of continuity, we're just passing through Southampton and Winchester at the moment. Can you see that little red snowflake on the dash? That means it's icy outside. Oops. I can smell something funny. That must mean we're passing through Swindon. It's that time again. Toll bridge time. I hate this bridge. Thanks, me lovely. And we're back in Newport now. You can just about work out this is the Oyster Bridge. These windows get so steamed up, look. And home. Looks like everyone's up in the living room there. Let's see who's in. <gasps> Hello. Have you missed me? Oh, the piece is broken. What are you smirking at, Gemma? What's so funny? Nothing. No, that's a bigger grin than usual. What's going on? Beverly's rushed upstairs already. Beverly, where are you? Hello. Hello. It's good to be home. Yes. Oh, and there we go. We're home and I'm knackered and I'm tired and I need to go to bed. And I think I'm going to call it a day there. It's day 315. Wow, 50 days left of 365. And I'm going to bed. Thank you very much for watching. Gemma's back in the show. Woohoo! People have missed Gemma. Hiya. Squeak. And if you're really lucky, I'll speak to you tomorrow. See ya. Bye.